Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be covering the new moon reading. We had a new moon that came in early this morning after 12 midnight. The new moon is about new blessings, new situations, things you want to manifest, and keeping your brain positive throughout the new moon cycle and see your manifestations come true i'm going to do a new moon reading for all signs together because everybody got different wishes and it's only one new moon so there's no need to do separate readings so we want to pull three cards from the moon analogy deck which i have two decks combined and see what could be coming up. Some people may resonate with the new moon. Some people may not. Some people probably don't understand what the blue moon is about. If you don't, you could Google it. As far as me being a tarot reader, I have to know about the new moons, the full moons, and the different type of aspects that happen in each in each individual house of each of those zodiac signs. Sorry. Um. I'm adjusting to these other new glasses I just got today, so it's kind of irritating, but I'm getting there, I guess. I'm also going to pull um, a couple cards from the Witch's Wisdom because I got my glasses so I don't have to strain so much. And I'm going to take a, um, Angel Whispers. And this is going to be for all signs for the new moon. Universe. Okay, one card already came out universe what is the energy surrounding the new moon at this time what is the energy that's surrounding the new moon at this time you came out and you came out okay i could tell you one thing right now that i have three cards and two was reversed so with that being said i'm not sure but it's about positive energy so maybe it's a lot of people that's not in tune to positive energy i'm not sure but this is the witch's tarot, so I'm going to um, also, what is going on here? I'm also going to be pulling from the witch's tarot, but sometimes the witch's tarot talks to the reader, so if it don't resonate with you, it's probably directly to me what I should be doing and what I need to do, so just always know that because it's the witch's wisdom. So, it might just want to talk to me because they also have a passage in here for me as a reader. So, I am going to read that as well solidly. Okay. Universe, spirit, guys, holy angels. What is the energy? Okay. Wow. These you don't read reverse. Uh two cards came out so i'm going to let what came out just come out <laughs> i know what that means okay the first card that we have for the um moon oracles is show the world the real you full moon in aquarius so the full moon could be in aquarius at this time or this could be significant sinif mm, i can't even talk what is going on significant <laughs> crack the hell up this could be significant for our aquarius saying show the world the real you so maybe you're not showing the world the true you at this time aquarius um because this came out in aquarius i mean aquarius is going through a lot and this is the only one that's not reversed so this is a good aspect for the aquarius that it's time to um show who you really are and then you have it, which is the violet, which is your crown chakra. So you starting to open your brain and your crown chakra to new and different things, perhaps. Maybe you're going too much and you're starting to go within. That's what I'm seeing. Um, reverse, we have con conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So this card basically is conclusions um something is coming to an end some things that need to come to an end is you know basically coming to an end um these trees or i you could say these trees but i look at these as wands 
So it could be a conclusion when a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo that's coming to an end. Or this could just be it's conclusions that's coming into your life. So um, if you know you resonate with this, you know that's what is tied up and it's time to let go of some certain situations. Um, also, you got reverse is emotions are running high. So right now it's, it's and it's the super moon. So right now it's a lot of situations maybe going on in somebody's life. Um, it could be Aquarius because this reading, you know, could just be for Aquarius. I'm not sure, but this is all about your head chakra and they said attentions is running high. So somebody could be under like a lot of stress, ready to snap on a certain situation. I'm not sure, but it says tensions is running high at this time. So it could be my Aquarius is that your attention is running high because conclusions are within reach like maybe you getting tired of a situation like i just feel for some reason this reading is going to aquarius and that's not what i was trying to do so i might let this be for the air signs or i might just go ahead and just publish this for aquarius because and it's crazy because a lot of aquarius i know the favorite color is purple and that's the head chakra and it just seemed like this reading is going to more you i mean i can't reverse the role so you also got fraternity fraternity like pregnancy this is the right time to get pregnant if you're trying to get pregnant and situations like that i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to read that to you i'm trying to learn these glasses man they complicated i don't care nobody said i never wore glasses before so it's going to be complicated ever and it's some shit So, I got to get together with these glasses. I'm trying to have, find out how this shit is going. I'm looking for something. And I, okay, so I guess I got to go. Uh, I ain't know. So, where would it be? I might be missing it. Let me go look again. see it and it gotta be here crack the hell up no way it can't be here uh, give me a second i'm trying to look for the meaning for this card and i'm having an issue and it gotta be here see how these glasses ain't letting me see crack the hell up I might be had to look the opposite way. Okay, let me go back. Oh, okay. Fertility. Oh, fertility. Be tame. Okay. When you look for these, you got to look for the other meaning tools. And now I get it. Because I'm like. Okay. Beltane, also known as May Day. Is celebrated on the 1st of May. The first, excuse me, the feast honors the green man and Moraine, his May Queen, and sacred union. Couples come together to celebrate this fire festival with songs dancing around the Maypole and sacred union of hand fasting and holy fires. Explore it. Explore your sexuality. Your ideas are coming to fruition. Do what you feel passionate about. Taking action will bring about desired results. Participate in a fire walk. Time to celebrate. So, it's telling you to do what you feel and explore your sexuality. And, you know, that's what it's saying. I would say to Aquarius, I, like I said, I didn't think this was going to be an Aquarius, like blue moon reading, but not blue moon. That's still on my mind, but full moon reading, but that's the way it's going. You also got the death card. So the death card, you know, is a lot of situations, but we be real with it. It's an ending of something. 
bottom line. So, like, that came up for you. And it says, for the death part, let go of old patterns and behaviors. Take a risk. Fear is, per is preventing you from freedom and from your freedom. And branch your crony years and step into your wisdom. A death changes your outlook. Wow. I don't like that. I'm so not liking that. But these cards here was is the main serious cards that I was waiting for. So they're saying you're gonna explore you're gonna go through a death. It ain't saying the past death. It's saying that you're gonna lose someone. And it's gonna change your way of thinking. I don't know. You know, I got Aquarius daughter as well. But because that death card came up, I'm going to surround this with the energy of Aquarius. And I'm going to do a clarifier for you. Because I don't like, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like it. But uh, some things, it is what it is. So we're going to see what that's about for you, for my Aquarius. For the full moon reading that happened tonight well last night honestly at 12 in the morning so i'm gonna go ahead and it says death is gonna change the situation so we're gonna see what's going on universe what's the energy surrounding aquarius at this time okay coming up out of building your pinnacles or building a something could be a relationship could be a friendship What's the energy that's around Aquarius? I'm only going to pull three cards. What's the energy not making something happen? The universe is not letting something happen. So if it was, maybe a death, maybe the universe is not, let, not letting something happen to a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo for your benefit. Or he not letting something happen because he don't think you're ready for that. I'm going to only take one more card and then I'm going to... What's the energy? I need one card. What's the energy revolving the Aquarius at this time? Yeah. You coming up out of some celebration. You coming up out of a gathering, an event, a fun event, or something in that nature. I'm going to take an angel God. And I'm going to end your reading. And I'm going to go back. And read what it says for me as far as death as well as the reader. I just want to know like what that means. Universe, spirit guide, holy angel, what's the energy surrounding my Aquarius? One card, please. Trust in your intuition more. You do have inner insight. Which Aquariuses do when they tune into it? They're very highly intuitive. So I'm going to go back into this real fast and i'm going to end your full moon reading because i want to know as myself like for the witches what does that mean peace light and blessings to all this is basically turned out to be aquarius reading